This video will serve as a brief introduction to acid-base titrations. Here's a little cartoon setup um, of a titration. Here's what the setup looks like in real life. Now this equipment right here is called a burette. A burette um, is useful for measuring the volume of a liquid um, to a more precise place than a graduated cylinder might. In fact, typical burette will read volume to the hundredths place. So what a titration is, it's a procedure that's performed in order to determine the molarity or the concentration of an unknown solution. So for example, we might want to know the molarity of this solution here. So in order to do that, we would perform something called a titration. Titration is a procedure used to determine the molarity of an unknown acid or base solution. Notice all this stuff that pertains to acid will be in red, and the stuff that pertains to the base will be in blue. So here we are. Here's our burette, and inside the burette um, will be the base, or um, it's also called the titrant. And in this case, we'll be using sodium hydroxide. And during a titration, we would have to know the concentration of this. So this would be of known concentration. This here, the acid, the analyte, what we're going to be analyzing, that would be an unknown concentration. Let's graphically depict the process of a titration. So this is an acid. We want to know what the molarity of this acid is. It's an acid, so it begins with a very low pH, a pH of 1. And what we're going to do is turn the stopcock here, and then we're going to add sodium hydroxide to the acid. What would you expect would happen to the pH of the acid if we add base to it? Well, of course, if we add base, the pH is going to go up. So drop by drop, we'll be adding base. And as we add base, notice that the pH increases. It increases slowly. But then at some point here, even the introduction of just a small amount of, a of base will cause the pH to spike rapidly. So titrations have to be performed carefully and deliberately. Now, when we've, when we've reacted exactly equal amounts of acid and base, we should be at what's called the equivalency point. And at the equivalency point, um, we'll have a pH of exactly 7 because all of the H pluses will have reacted with all of the OH minuses to make salt and water. So at the equivalence point, that's the point at which one reactant, acid, has been exactly consumed by the addition of another reactant, hydroxide ion, or base. Now, when we perform a titration in lab, there's really no way of knowing exactly when you're at the equivalence point. But what we do have is an acid-base indicator called phenolphthalein, and it changes color around pH 8 or 9. So what we'll do is we'll add phenolphthalein to this acid solution, and it will appear to be colorless. But then, when the pH climbs and we hit like pH 8, you'll see a quick color change. And we know that we're pretty close to the equivalence point when the indicator turns pink. So we call that the end point of the titration. So it's pretty similar to the, to the equivalency point, um, but, but not, not exactly the same. But we'll kind of treat it as if it's the same.